The National Sleep Foundation recommends that adults aged 18 to 64 get between seven and nine hours sleep per night. I'm probably right in the middle of that, right around eight. I need my sleep. I'm enjoying a little siesta these days too, like 12 minutes, I love it. Uh, anyway, a new infographic has come out showing what uh, successful people uh, from right now to the past, how much sleep they got, so let's take a look. So there's some really interesting stuff here. Uh, Bill Gates averages seven hours of sleep, which is right Whoa. sort of at the front end of what the Sleep Foundation is recommending. Billionaire Donald Trump, Anna, I know you love Donald Trump, am I right? Totally, he's the You best. love Donald <laughs> yeah. Trump. He gets about three to four hours of well, that sleep. that makes sense. He then spends the rest <laughs> of his day arguing with eggs on Twitter. Uh, Margaret Thatcher got only four hours of sleep per day. Uh, this one I think is really interesting. Nikola Tesla, who was the grandfather of electricity, uh, slept for only two hours each night. Uh, Winston Churchill, uh, he did four hours, and then he'd do the 90-minute nap. I want to talk about naps in a second. Uh, and interestingly, and not surprisingly, uh, politicians are the group of people who get the most with more than nine hours of sleep each night. We know they're not working and they're pretty much asleep at the job, so I don't know if that counts in that. So let's just start with the, with the personal angle. Like, how, how important uh, is sleep to you guys, Kim? I have problems getting to sleep. Like, I would like to sleep more, but I'm definitely a night person, and I worry at night, and I can't sleep and wake up early for the Rubin Report tapings. <laughs> uh, but it is important. Like, I, I feel a lot better. I, my mind moves better. I look better. Yeah, that's that's actually what I'm more concerned about, to be yeah. honest with you. Um, I feel like I function fine on four to five hours of sleep. Mm -hmm. I average between five and six, and when I sleep more than that, I'm actually groggy the entire day. So all of these studies frustrate me a little bit because everyone's different. Yeah. And so I don't like it when people tell me, oh, you're only getting six hours of sleep. It's actually destroying your cognitive abilities. No, what destroys my cognitive ability is when I've slept eight hours and then I wake up and I just want to go back to sleep. Right, and everyone's to, your, different. to your point, I mean, that graphic shows that plenty of highly productive people right. are getting very little sleep. Although, among those who don't get enough sleep, you have Margaret Thatcher and Donald Trump. <laughs> I don't know if that really... I was just pulling. We'll, you know what, we can throw the graphic back up for just a sec and we'll, we'll just keep talking so people can see who else is on there. I like the Tesla fact right there. Two hours, that sounds really you have to Right, I mean, think about the shit that he was getting yeah. done. Tesla had some serious problems yeah. psychologically as well. Yeah. Remember that time? I mean, he's a brilliant man, undoubtedly, but yeah. he did have his issues. Uh, by the way, so Barack Obama <laughs> gets way. six hours, which is a little on the low side. Yeah, go ahead. I just have to make a point about uh, Berlusconi. The reason why Berlusconi <laughs> only got two to four hours of sleep is because he was fucking prostitutes. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's with a lot. Prostitutes don't let you sleep. They charge when you're sleeping. Uh, what do you guys make of the, what do you make of the, uh, if you're with the prostitute, you know what I mean? Like if you're charging two hours. No, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I'm just saying, generally prostitutes, they charge you for the whole time. So if you're going to sleep through it, you know what I mean? They just you, want you, you to gotta, get your value. You got it right. Well, Berlusconi was specifically known for his bunga bunga parties, oh, yeah. which I, I loved covering him. He was great. Um, what do you guys make of the, the politicians? They get a lot of sleep. They don't work. They get a lot of sleep. They pass laws so that they're, yeah. they're, they pay less taxes. Like, what? Come on. I feel like I chose the wrong career. I love what I'm doing, but yeah. I feel like I would live high off the hog if I was a politician. So you I should would have also become be like miserable, a, by the way. I don't really want to do that. Right, like a mid-level congressional somebody. Yeah. Not everybody would know about you, but you could sleep a lot. And... Yesterday, I was like toying with the idea of serving on the Los Angeles City Council. I'm like, it sounds like it'd be fun. Do it. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it, uh, Anna, if I know one thing about Anna, it's not like she has uh, a lot of controversial things she said that could possibly derail her uh, campaign. campaign, but uh, who knows? Anyway, how much sleep do you guys get? How important is sleep in your day-to-day -day operation? Let us know in the comments right down below.